Hi, this is Chris with FMLS, and in this video we're going to do a quick demonstration of our Marketplace system used for data access management. To access Marketplace, simply log into FMLS.com and then navigate to MyFMLS and FMLS Marketplace. That will bring you to the dashboard, and we'll go through each of these options. First, clicking on Browse Products is going to open up a list of all of the approved products that have been submitted by vendors to Marketplace. They're going to be sortable by product name, category, and vendor. So for instance, let's say you're wanting to set up an IDX website, you can simply type in IDX in the search bar and that's going to filter down all the different products that have been categorized by IDX or have IDX in the name. Let's say maybe Dacno right here looks like one we want to get some more info on. So we'll click on it and it'll open up some information with the product name, the vendor, a link to the vendor's website, as well as any description the vendor may have provided. If this looks like a product you want to subscribe to, then all you'll need to do is type in your URL here, and then you would click the button subscribe to this product below it. What that'll do is send a notification to the vendor letting them know that you're interested in their product and wanting to use it, and that we have approved it. The next option here is going to be My Subscriptions. Clicking on this will open up a list of all of the active subscriptions you have under your user account. Since we didn't actually make that last subscription, we don't have any current active ones here. But what you can do from this screen is it'll give you the, the information, the product name, the URL if one applies, the vendor, and then when you subscribe to it. And then you'll also have the option to unsubscribe to it if you're no longer using that particular product. Your next option here is going to be the Matrix IDX search link, and it's going to be very similar to the FMLS search control panel. Both of these are going to be used if you've got your own website already and you're looking to just integrate a search page through an iframe. Both of these will provide you with the necessary source for that iframe and allow you to then integrate it in without actually having to go through a third party vendor and without having to get an entire website package. So uh, to hop into the matrix one, this is actually based on the matrix search itself. So you simply click here and it's going to send you over into matrix onto the settings page and you just click on IDX configuration and that'll bring you to the IDX configuration page. To set this up, you would just simply say create new page, name it whatever you would like. And then down here, you would simply say IDX enabled. Once you click on the save button, you'll notice it generates an iframe here with the code that you'll need that you can just simply right click and copy it and either paste it into your website into the HTML portion if you're familiar with uh, some HTML work or you can send it over to a website vendor or a developer and they can get that implemented for you. Your next option here is going to be the search engine control panel and this is going to be just a different flavor so to speak of an iframe except this doesn't spit out the actual iframe code you'll have to have that uh, either built or come up with it yourself but it will give you the source for that code which will be right here the fmls search link this top search link is going to be a full search of all of the available properties in fmls and the link below it the my listings will be just listings based on your username so a lot of people will set that up as a featured listings for instance Below that, you'll have a few parameters that you can customize if you only want certain property types or certain cities, uh, and you can save those changes and it'll automatically push them out to that link. So that's going to be your IDX options or your data display options within Marketplace. If you have any questions, we've got some pretty robust documentation within our knowledge base, which can be accessed through support and then knowledge base right here. Beyond that, if you have any additional questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you and have a great day.